Sanford Health in Bemidji teamed up with the Red Lake and Cass Lake Hospitals to host their 13th annual Healing Pow Wow. Our Sherelle Moore tells us the meaning behind the celebration. A Pow Wow is meant to be a celebration of life, and this one was no different. Today, dozens of people from many different communities came together as one to promote life and healing. We celebrate the providers, the physicians, the nurses, or any of the departments that are included with the healing process for the patients here. At a powwow, you'll find traditional dancing and stunning regalia, and of course, lots of singing. The jingle dresses are also known as healing dresses. And each song played on the drum also has its own meaning. This is another way of um, you know, recovering. It's another way of bringing good feelings. It's another way of uh, enjoying life. The ceremony acknowledges and thanks Western medicine, but also reminds everyone to be thankful of sacred medicine, too. The hospital itself does its work to help our people, but also from uh, the cultural standpoint, from our traditional ways, this, uh, these ways also works in that same manner. Another big part of every powwow is the feast that happens towards the end or in the middle, along with the regalia and the dancing and, of course, all the drumming. The feast is said to help with the healing. We always know there's an invisible force, there's a higher power. Uh, we, so it's really important that we recognize them as well uh, through uh, singing and dancing, through ceremony, but also through uh, feasting them uh, with the food that we eat. Another big part of the powwow is honoring our veterans. At today's event, there are representatives from all reservations surrounding the city of Bemidji. It's a great feeling to carry a flag in, you know, it's, you know, we've, I've done that for many years and, and it's a good feeling. If you ever find yourself at a powwow, don't be afraid to ask questions. The main things to remember are don't touch the regalia, drums, or eagle feathers. But also, feel free to join in on one of the dances. Essentially, you know, just uh, make sure you give people their personal space, but uh, you should never be scared of, you know, going to a powwow. Reporting of Bemidji, Sheryl Moore, Lakeland News. Organizers say this was their biggest turnout yet, and they hope it continues to grow for years to come. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.